anybody here that wants to uh, come talk to us? I think I'm gonna kick a ghost's ass tonight. I hate this. Okay. Okay. If you'd like us to leave, turn the light on. Oh, I think I heard a little whisper after that. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Holy shit. Hi, my name is Mike Romero, and I have evidence for Jane Adams Hall House Museum. My name is Jean, and I have evidence for the Hall House Museum. I suddenly felt like somebody was watching a warmth across my back. Someone was standing up on my arm. A stick figure is still up on the ass. Somebody's pulling on my pant leg. I'd like to find this unexplained shape. Can you guys investigate? Welcome to Ghost Files. I'll be right back. I got to piss. Yeah. Off topic, but look at this. He's so cozy. We take your evidence and our tools into the field to expose the supernatural. My oh, partner, fuck. a skeptic. Myself, a believer. Both of us, truth seekers. This week, our team travels to Chicago, Illinois to investigate the Whole House Museum. Whole House. Whole House. Our first haunted location in Chicago. A very haunted city, many would say. This looks actually uh, kind of pleasant, dare I say. Yeah, we, we do really good buildings in this town. <laughs> Except for all the ones that burn down. Well, you're not personally building them yourselves. Well, in a way. All right, whole house, let's do this. Oh, nope. <laughs> all right, whole house, now let's do Now this. let's do it. <laughs> now that we figured out doors. Shut up. The whole house mansion was originally built in 1856 as a private home by Charles J. Hull only to leave it behind after four years due to several tragedies within the premises, including the traumatic loss of both his sons as well as his wife. Many believe that Mrs. Hull's spirit remains at this home. Then, in 1889, it was taken That's over so by renowned activists Jane Addams and Ellen Gates Starr, oh, fuck. converting it into the nation's first and most influential settlement house. Besides what does that even being mean? a safe haven for the community, it is also infamously known as the home of Chicago's own legend, the Devil Baby. Ah, of course. Inspired by the movie Rosemary's Baby. I... I'm gonna burp that Devil Baby. A Devil Baby. I'm not a big fan of it because I don't like small things. So, uh, <clears throat> so wait, the inspired by a movie. So it's haunted by a ghost inspired by a movie. So they made it up. Do you think it meant that this inspired the movie? The name. Sure. Things moving really fast. Imagine just a baby in diapers just sprinting at you with red eyes. It's little fleshy feet but just, on the floor. Just and that, that, that diaper just foam into the brand when demon shit. At its peak, the whole house settlement expanded up to 13 buildings, filling up a whole city block. What's left today is the preservation of the original whole house mansion that has sat on Halstead Street for nearly two centuries and is now part of the University of Illinois at Chicago's campus. It stands two and a half stories high, Unlucky. sitting ominously in the middle of campus. 
We will start our investigation on the first floor and work our way upward. We've also placed cameras and audio recorders in two of the more active parts of the building in hopes that we catch activity when we're elsewhere. I'm One sure you in the totally original will. Jane Adams room, aka the haunted bedroom, and a second in the attic where the infamous devil baby is believed to reside. Oh, and finally, fuck. to end the investigation, Shane How and this I baby will be pick the crusty the attic of all things. What an idiot. House one at a time because I enjoy pain. It's a modest building for a haunt, but it's rich with history and hopefully with ghosts. Going to Chicago, your home place, you have any, uh, you, you excited for that? Well, you've surely you've been to Chicago before. You're a traveled culture. Of culture-man. course, I've never been to you've Chicago. You've never been! You've, kn you've known this about me. Yeah, I know. I think you just wanted to hear me admit it. Yeah, I think it's a town you'll really enjoy. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing that stupid bean that everyone talks about, the one that you were born under. Yes. That's known on Wikipedia. Cloud Gate Nation, rise up. We'll get you some Portillo's, we'll get you some Melnati's. We'll get you some of that bad popcorn everybody likes. And then we'll go to a haunted mansion. That's right. Portillo's is pretty well, good though. Without further ado, the investigation begins. Well, I immediately regret this. <laughs> Visitors have reported many supernatural experiences in this building, from hearing children laughing and running to random voices around the hall. One former employee has experienced multiple strange occurrences in this part of the house. As a former employee, I've always been in the museum, either with another employee or with people on tours. One time did chairs move from under desk and fall over with a tour group, constantly hearing doors slam shut. <laughs> always hearing voices in numerous areas. They've always been positive voices or things that don't sound evil, which is good. I would bank on them being pretty positive. It seemed like a, a pretty happy place good job. where people were able to go for comfort and rehabilitation. There were those, those tragedies, though. Yeah, whatever. The guys. You're doing like great, oh, sweetie. Right, yeah. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> So this is the general first floor area. This is where Michael said that he saw a chair move on its own. I see some chairs. I don't see them moving. Residents of Whole House, may you please move one of these chairs? What's the weight of that thing? Certainly. I was gonna say, if these are old chairs, they gotta be made out of like oak or cherry wood. Mrs. Hall, could you move one of the chairs? Mrs. Hall. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Let's go into this other room. It used to be actually a schoolhouse back in the day. Any kids in here want to talk to us? Excuse I me, hear Ryan. There's children laughing in this building. Excuse Wait. me. Did you actually hear? Shh. Fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Very you good. did it. Yeah. You did it, Ryan. <laughs> We're gonna do something I call the Estes Spirit Box. Oh, you know what? I actually enjoy this. Do I get to be the human radio on this I do. One? I'm in the human radio. Fuck. I, I don't like it. It forces story. you to be an actual investigator for once. Okay, all right. The Spirit Box rapidly scans radio signals to create white noise through which spirits can communicate. Hello. Now, I'm gonna listen to the Spirit Box with headphones. Except they never and say I'm that. I'm just gonna say, Whatever I hear, I'm not gonna hear any questions. It's not that like you're like, yes, asking. I'm a ghost. I'm haunting you. <laughs> my response somehow makes sense. Fucking Ryan I'm goes pickles, and they're this like, "This is fun. I do enjoy this. It's more fun than the box because I don't have to hear it." I am now reaching out to the spirits of the Hull House. Uh, that includes ghosts, ghouls, goblins. Oh, fuck. why are you? Song, son. Uh, sons, daughters. If the devil baby's here, please say my name. Have to work? It's right no, there. you don't have to work. You're here to play. You're here with the boys tonight. We're gonna have a good- Whoa! What? Yeah, what the boys. Is... Who are you guys? They sound like, who are you guys? That was crazy. Okay, devil baby. We're Ryan and Shane. We're uh, the greatest ghost hunters currently alive. We want nothing more than to make contact with you we come here with good intentions. Oh, yeah. We might be a little nasty here and there, a little rude. <laughs> it's pretty funny to see him sitting there in a the little corner. Call right. someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would you like to say to him? Maybe us? you're. Maybe I'm he what, is in you class. son of a bitch. Sorry, that was. Dead. A little. Oh. Okay. 
All right. This is a very confusing conversation, Mr. Nutcrack. Uh, now I feel like you're threatening me. Really? Good. Okay. <laughs> you're going to crack my nut. Don't go anywhere. Oh, now I feel very threatened because uh, you seem like you want to beat the shit out of Hi. me. Hi. Hide? Hi. Hi. Bring it. Okay. Do you, are you asking me to kick your ass? I'm good. I don't know if that means you, you're good. You don't want me to can't. kick Can't. You can't kick Bring it. <laughs> you're sending mixed messages, man. Fight. I think I'm going to kick a ghost's ass tonight is what I'm... Bad. Gonna, no, it's going to be bad when I'm done with you, sir. Misery. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you're going to be feeling when you meet... Cute. My sweet fist. Oh, it's cute, huh? How do you like this? <laughs> I might have just hit you for all I know. Did that hurt? What is happening? Huh? huh? What is, is there going anyone on? here? Am I hitting a ghost? Wrist. Mist? Back. What? What do you think about that? How'd that feel? Who is this? My name's Shane. I just beat the Scared. Shit. Yes, you are scared. Okay, Ryan. Go. Yeah, you go. Hit me. Oh, oh! I think I just beat the shit out of Mr. Hall. What the fuck are you talking I was punching, about? I got in a fight with him. As far <laughs> as I know, I'm pretty sure that's what, what just happened. Why are you sure? I don't feel like anything. I guess I did say hit me. He was point. asking me to hit him. And uh, I, I think I, I think I fought him. Well, if. See, I don't understand why they can't like play the recording as well. Like, why is it always, like, something that's unavailable in these conversations? I guess because it's too much, but, like... Doesn't record. Convenient. Convenient. It's mostly static and it's really annoying. So is the other method and they still play it out loud. Like every method is annoying and loud. Like Ryan could just be saying words and there's no evidence that that's what he's actually repeating. Okay, but that one was a real fight. <laughs> do I want to go beat up a ghost? I'll hold him down. Phil, do you want to go ghost hunting with me? Do you want to be one of these ghost hunting shows, but like it's just me and you making fun of it the entire time? Yeah? I'm down. Let's do it. <laughs> there is a ghost here who is looking for a fight. Sounds like a good time to me. One of the most active areas is the staircase, with people seeing the nearby chandelier often moving on its own. However, the staircase is most famous for the numerous photos of apparitions captured on oh, it. Oh no. One of the more recent ones by Gene Anderson. The hanging we were structure on the front is swinging. Porch, looking through the windows and taking photographs. As I was flipping through all the pictures I took, I noticed on one there was something on the stairs. A railing. It looked like a baby. That. That looks like a baby if you ask bro, me. Bro, that's a that fucking like a jizz blob. Baby. That's a chunky baby. That's a reflection. Literally, look at the rest of the photo. You can see shit like. There's like other smudges in the picture. That's literally a smudge. There's literally smudges underneath of it. Somebody's fucking thick ass thumb got in the way of the lens. I was like, oh, sorry, fuck. And then she was like, <gasps> <laughs> just to do my part here, it did look like it was taken it's through a window. A lot a of reflections on that shot. 
You have to admit that that is. It's possible, but I mean, looks like a baby. I guess Devil Baby would sort of do a head trick and just and be I, like, well, yep. they'll be really freaked out if they just see a little baby head flying around. And especially if it's fucking huge. <laughs> if I see a baby head flying down the stairs at me, I'm doing a little psycho like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we could uh, Did you capture see it? a baby ourselves. I could see how smudges would create a baby-like face. You mean exactly, right, so if we can't yeah. capture it via photo, we are going to use some tools here to maybe pick up the uh, little uh, ghost otherwise. We have a mag light. What's the... F the uh, little... Uh What's the face Ryan is... Or Shane's making here? <laughs> oh. Ghost. Uh, goes otherwise. We have a mag light. I think mouth is half a open. It's so strange. Mag light, when turned to the space between on and off, can be turned into a touch lamp, which you can ask spirits to manipulate. <laughs> However, the light will also randomly turn on and off in this setting. So, responses uh -huh. need to be timely and repetitive for a compelling interaction. I'm gonna reintroduce ourselves. My name is Ryan. I'm Shane. If you understand that, can you please turn that light on? You mean the touch sensitive light on that it can probably right be messed with? If you can, or if there is, can you please touch that light on that staircase? Oh, brother. Any ladies, any ladies on the staircase, please tap that little light. Or. or I think that knows what we were about to say. A little demon baby. A little baby. devil baby. A little devil baby, perhaps? If that was our friend, the little devil baby, why don't you go ahead and turn that light off? Oh! oh yeah! <laughs> That's right in his spot, too. I'm simply thrilled right now uh, until I actually see you in the flesh, in which case I'm going to jump head first through that window. We're going to give you one more minute to possibly show yourselves. If there's anything in this house that wants to communicate or wants to say anything, please show yourself on this staircase. If you'd like us to leave, turn the light on. Yeah. Any more conclusive statements from the flashlight over there? You're really wilding out. If you'd like us to leave, turn it on. <laughs> okay. If you're upset that I clocked Mr. Hull in the jaw, turn that light off. Hmm, devil, maybe that's Devil Baby talking. Maybe he's saying, no, I don't like Mr. Hull. Is Mr. Hull there? Can I talk to Mr. Hull? Mr. Hull, please turn the light on. I'd be like, yo, baby, this shit lame. Show yourself or I start f violently farting. So the, the recording with Tommy went well, Phil, huh? I think I killed a ghost. I don't think you killed a ghost. I, th I think I killed him. <laughs> Here on the second floor, there were several fires reported that started spontaneously on their own. And yet, despite the flames, there were no burns or marks from fire damage found anywhere. If there's anything up here right now that wants to communicate with us, please speak now. Why are you still here? <laughs> oh, they lied or no? Could somebody walk towards my voice? If you could hear me, walk towards me. Wait, Phil, is Halo tomorrow? Are we Haloing tomorrow? We come with good I vibes, forgot. always. Except for when I was punching you in the face, but you did provoke that, and I was acting in self-defense. While we're looking up at this attic here. I forgot if we agreed on a date or let's not. Let's fire up the ovulus. The ovulus takes environmental readings that spirits are said to manipulate, such as temperature or electromagnetic fields, and converts them Interrupt. into corresponding words New moon. or phonetic sounds. Oh, so true. Birds, God, this is such a believable Did it say device. Birds? birds, terms, and wind. This feels like a riddle of some sorts. I don't like riddles, spirit. Breaker? Give us something direct, something to work with. What do you want to talk about? <clears throat> well, if uh, if you're not busy tomorrow, I'm down, but up to you. Um, what is tomorrow, Thursday? So what time? Uh, I have a recording early in the morning for me, but 
We could do probably noon. Oh, do later. That would work too. Whatever works. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you know. Just message. Can you say devil baby? Can you tell us what year it is? Cool. This is so. This makes no fucking sense. A hat. I think we're talking to a magician. I was talking thing pulled pork. Like no matter how many times they explain this device, I don't understand. Ovilus. The ovulus takes environmental readings that spirits are said to manipulate, such as temperature or electromagnetic fields, and converts them into corresponding words or phonetic sounds. How though? Literally how though? So the two things we make up that they can mess with, we can, we take that and we make it words somehow. It's 69 degrees Fahrenheit, and the ovulus says your mom. <laughs> your, your, your mom. <laughs> Did it say birds? Birds, terms, and wind. This feels like a riddle of some sorts. I don't like riddles, spirit. Breaker? Give us something direct, something to work with. What do you want to talk about? Can you say devil baby? Can you tell us what year it is? Pulled. Telepathy. Telepathy. Pulled a rabbit out of a hat? I think we're talking to a magician. I was talking thing pulled pork. Okay, we're gonna give you 60 seconds of silence to possibly uh, do whatever you want. Maybe we'll hear a conversation. Yes, yeah, so now that they're gone, what I was saying is we should really improve the paint on the walls. Oh. Okay, well. Oh, they're still here. I guess that wraps it up for this room. Uh -oh. Just one more room down, one step closer <laughs> to me being in this awful house alone. The second floor bedroom is where Mrs. Hull reportedly died and is dubbed by Jane Addams herself as the haunted bedroom, despite herself being a skeptic of the paranormal. According to Adams, previous tenants used to put buckets of water in front of the bedroom door because they believed that spirits cannot cross water. But Jane and her guests because they believed that spirits cannot cross water. It's not really like... Couldn't the ghost just like... Right there? Or like... Like right there, <laughs> couldn't they just or like like between the buckets? They could, you know. Couldn't they just uh? Jane and her guests reported hearing conversations in this room in very unchill times, like when they were home alone. Unchill and times. witnesses have seen a woman hovering over yeah, the bed. Yeah, the vibes are really so off Adams, about this room. Skeptic, heard voices in her own home that she couldn't explain. Um, like that sometimes. Skeptic. It's tough sometimes on these situations. You wish you- Like the vibes are really weird inside of this room in particular. Like the owner of the house like said that it's very unchill in here. And like occasionally there's like this chick and she's like floating and shit. And like nobody knows who it is. And then sometimes, sometimes people put water in front of the door because spirits don't like water or some shit. 
it's like what I just, like my uncle was telling me this like the spirits they like are allergic to water or something and so like you put the water in front of it and they're like dude not cool and then they like stay in the room and then it's just like all the bad vibes stay in the room dude you know know what I'm saying if you could be there and, and sort of judge it for yourself, people are incredibly susceptible to uh, their emotions, the environs. It's possible she did hear a conversation, you know, and it's possible that she also heard something else that she thought was a conversation, who knows? We're gonna use a couple tools in here, one of which I'm very excited about. We're gonna use our little honey tone amplification device for the spirit box. The honey tone. Called that because, oh, it sounds so sweet. The spirit box rapidly scans radio signals to create white noise through which spirits can communicate. And the honey tone filters out the noise while amplifying only the voices. Hello. Jane, can you see our names back to us? Can you tell us what floor we're on in the building? Two. That was creepy. Who are we talking to right now? Can you tell like us your name, please? Then like uh, a C H. Michael. I don't know. Can be clear, please. What's your name? Bergara. I'm gonna turn this off in about. Not even close. Ten seconds. I'm gonna need to hear something. Tell me your name. Or something compelling for me to keep this going. Whoa, what was that? Oh, we're gonna have to listen to that again. I think it sounded something like friend. Uh, we might have another way to talk to you. I'm gonna turn this off now. Hey, I've got my camera. No way, don't turn me off. I'm actually gonna stop. <laughs> well, I think I heard a little whisper after that. Is somebody here with us right now? Jane? Not Jane? Anyone? Mrs. Hole? If you don't want us to leave, turn on the light. Turn on the light. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Is this Mrs. Producer Adams? Producer holding the Is this on you button. right now? If it like... is, turn off the light. <laughs> if it's not Mrs. Adams and it's Mrs. Hole, can you please turn off the light? Who's left? Lady in white. Turn off that light. Oh, oh, Lady in white. <laughs> Lady in white. If you are Mrs. Hole, can you turn on the light? Lady in white, if you are Jane Adams, can you turn on the light? Oh, wow. Jane! That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Jane, this is you! I mean, it's an honor. It is an honor, you've done a lot of great things. You know, you were uh, considered one of the most dangerous women on earth. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, okay, you do know that. Do you want us to leave your bedroom now? If so, turn off the light. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave because I actually didn't like that that you much. You didn't like that at all. Again, it was an absolute pleasure to meet you. What uh, are they going to do? I did go to your junior high school in Schaumburg, Illinois. <laughs> uh, so I do feel like we would have been buds. The scariest part of the whole building is, of course, the attic. Allegedly, this yeah, is literally where the do something devil except baby has push a button. Home. Nobody gives One a version fuck. Of the story has it that a religious woman had an image of the Virgin Mary in her home. But her atheist husband took it down, saying he would rather have the devil in the house. When Whoa. they had their first child, his wish came true. The baby allegedly had pointed ears, horns, and a tail just like the devil. <laughs> According to legend, the terrified parents decided to leave the baby right on the whole house doorsteps, where the residents attempted to baptize the baby. But oh, it fuck, ended up it's being the Jersey Devil. I probably bring like a rattle or something. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> or I'll make baby noises like Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> you make baby noises. Goo Goo Gaga, come out. Yeah, Goo Goo Gaga. Goo Goo Boo Boo Goo Goo. Goo Goo Boo Boo. Boo Goo Gara is here. Boo Boo Goo. Some I don't know what babies like Gerbers or some shit like that. They love a Gerber. They love a Ho Ho. They oh love a Oh my God! Trinkie. What trigger object should we use to trigger this baby? Rattles. Uh, pacifiers. They don't understand object permanence. Coco so Melon. Sort of, uh, uh, yeah, hide yeah, and yeah. Seek. Yeah, hide and seek. Dude, haven't they seen the TikToks? Just literally play the intro of Coco Melon, and the child will like, will, like run into the fucking room like this.
<laughs> Not <the> melon. <laughs> play peekaboo. Pe oh, peekaboo. We could play yeah, peekaboo. Peek we could play peekaboo. Let's play a clean game. Let's catch this baby. Now this is more like it. Now that's what I call ghost hunting. Now this definitely feels oh. a little bit more like something we have uh, seen in the past. We could fire up the REM pod. At the fire scene, up huh? the REM pod. You know we're in the attic. The REM pod creates its own circular electromagnetic field. I'm and will sure alarm it does. When anything penetrates e that field, e the more colors on the alarm, e the more significant the intrusion. <laughs> the REM pod also detects temperature fluctuations. Devil baby, why did you choose to live up here? I mean, I think it's obvious. This, I mean, is, this is a great location for a devil baby. Devil baby, do you see the device? In the Pristine middle of the attic devil there. baby it's got location a little red for light sure. on it. Red light, you know that. It's like <sighs> hell. And your biological father's skin. I assume this is a direct <sighs> descendant of Satan. First name oh, devil, last name baby. <laughs> yeah. Approach the REM Family pod. Name. Some no Temperature Dude, spike on REM pod. Yeah, I think that actually means the temperature is going up a little bit. Well, oh, are we going into hell? Cool. Get where's, real close where's to Where's the it. thermometer? If you can get even closer to that, we'll know you're here. Devil baby. You're really disappointing us right now. You're disappointing yeah, the audience. Yeah, that's a good point. This is if it's a devil baby, how the fuck does it know what English is? If it's a fucking child, like if it's literally a devil baby, how would it even know what the fuck they're saying? It would sit here and be like, Goo Goo Gaga. Like, I, I don't think it's sitting here going, Oh, good, good sirs, you're in my attic. <laughs> this is your chance to clear your name. Can you move something up here to let us know you're here? If you don't. Should we turn our lights on? Let's try that. Oh, that's extremely. I don't like that at all. That's spooky, huh? Devil baby. Bro, Approach what's the, fucking... the REM pod, devil baby. What the fuck's it gonna do? Bite your fucking ankles? Like haunt your fucking toes? Like get over it. Touch. <laughs> That's a spike in temperature. It's going up. Holy shit. Are we doing a little ovulus? This is a, we're gonna use the ovulus, devil baby. If you could just make this thing say devil, that would be great. Oh, oh you are. <laughs> if you want to go to heaven, get close to that uh, red light. We'll lie to God and tell him that you're just a normal baby and he'll let you in. Or better yet, we won't lie to God. Shane, I'll lie to God. No, no, Shane will distract God. And while God's distracted, I'll sneak you in the back door of heaven. Yeah, that's right. I'll, I'll pull over. That's the anus. Oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Devil baby just won't go to heaven. That's right. I could just, I can, Shane will distract him. We'll do the old, uh, the old, uh, I don't know what the name of that plan is. Shove. Dress. Where? Where? Are, where? Dan. Dan. <laughs> nighttime Dan. Oh, and a real nighttime Dan we got yeah, here. We, are we not talking to devil baby? Are we just talking? Are we to talking to nighttime Dan? Nighttime Dan, can you get? <laughs> it's me the whole time disc what okay you're what is a this? dj what is this a minecraft money. server nighttime dan spins discs for, for money. money nighttime dan nighttime local dan. dj from chicago if you like it's money, not been a devil dan baby leather. it's been nighttime dan this whole time touch that uh, little red light damn it i mean he's probably got his headphones on I'll take it. I'll take it too. I'll take that nighttime, Dan. Hell I, yeah, nighttime, I Dan. Believe... I like money too. <laughs> I can't Dan, believe these. Bad. Now that I know nighttime the, Dan's this... here, I'm one. Can't believe this ghost hunting equipment perpetuated by the people who believe ghosts are real or randomly working at convenience. It's such a weird, uh, it's so convenient. How, how has nobody ever taken this equipment and like used it in a non haunted scenario? Like, has anybody just gone to like their local park?
you know what though if you were ever to film anything like that and it would just like freak out people would be like well um that's because it's probably actually haunted because um there's like 50 unsolved murders at the burial grounds of the park that's underneath the park because it used to be um a cemetery and um they actually buried a bunch of uh uh, dead infants from an orphanage that burnt down actually before it was a cemetery. So, like, it burnt down and then, um, they built it into a cemetery and then, um, the cemetery lost its funding because, like, the government hates dead orphans. So, um, they actually made it a local park instead. So, um, that's why it's still haunted. That's, it's actually haunted, though. <laughs> percent less scared about the solo investigation that's about to happen. Yeah. And now we move to the final phase of the hunt, our individual investigation of the entire building. Here's how our solo investigations will work. Shane and I will each have 20 minutes of solid alone time in the location. Shane will go first, and at the end of his time, we'll hide a walkie-talkie in a room inside the building. Once Shane returns, he'll reveal to me the walkie-talkie location. Then it's my turn. I'll enter the building, and only after radioing back to Shane with the hidden walkie-talkie will the clock start on my 20 minutes of solo investigation. Let the games begin. That's a lot of building. It's not that much of a building, but we are going to be there alone, which I, I never like. And yet I do it every single time. Because you're a professional. No, I think it's because I hate myself. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Well, it's come to the part of the night that I dread most. It's time to party. No, it's not. It's party time, baby. Sorry, that's a really bright flashlight. Flash right in my face. Sorry about that. All right, I guess I'll just get in there and do my thing. Yeah, get in there and do your thing. Testing walkie? We're doing 20 minutes, right? 20 minutes. Sounds good. See you on the other side, brother. Okay. Hello. In the Hull House Museum. A dream come true for this little Illinois boy. He's been very happy to be back in Chicago. Hopefully that lasts too, because he'll finally shut up about it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Guy talks about it in Chicago nonstop. Uh, I'm gonna open up the conversation to the Hulls. Apparently Shane fist fought Mr. Hull. I didn't see that because I had my eyes closed. Oh man, could you imagine we just go in there and it's just like the house is just torn apart. <laughs> his shirt's ripped off, just bleeding from the nose. Just got his ass kicked by a ghost. Any other spirits, energies who spent time in this place and are perhaps still here wondering, what exactly am I? Am I an orb? Am I a ghost? Am I living? Am I dead? Did you well, see it? Well, <laughs> I hate to inform you, your ass is grass. Yes, you are dead, but uh, you know, with any luck, I can shake some sense into you. Did you just hear that? And uh, <laughs> knock your ass on out to uh, heaven or hell. Not looking forward to the attic, because it was gross. And there's a little baby man thing up there <laughs> that's gonna run around and nip at my ankles. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to be silent for a little bit. I'm going to hold up my microphone. And you should watch Danny's ghost video sometime. He actually did this kind of stuff realistically. What, what do you mean realistically? Realistically meaning like believing in the ghosts or like the realistic parameters of the ghost equipment set to standard and made by the ghost hunting community in which wants to perpetuate ghost hunting and sell you things for your pockets, your monies. Less jumping at farts. <laughs> And you can uh, talk into it. Yeah, he's probably doing something really stupid. Right I'm just going to have Misfits Double, take me to ghost. Listen, I'll just get Misfits 
to take me to haunted locations and then I'll just interview the ghosts like the TwitchCon videos. Easy. My little devil baby here. Not taking the investigation seriously. Come on out, devil baby. Devil baby. Disrespecting the craft. Devil baby. My sweet boy, come on down. Come on down to Pop Pop, devil baby. You know, typical Shane things. Would you like to swing from that chandelier, devil baby? I won't tell. Devil baby, if you come out right now and swing from the chandelier and do a little flip into my arms, I'll give you a kiss. And I'll never tell them it happened. I'll delete this footage. Now I'm gonna be in there for 20 minutes. And I already tried to bribe Mark off camera. Ghosts, if you're here, sure. fart. I don't understand why we need to be in there for 20 minutes. It's a very, Just like... <laughs> very small building. It should be shorter. It should be shorter the smaller it is. This should be a five minute investigation. Yeah, you can see why when people stand in this room with the big ass Stranger Things clock and the sound is very dampened, you've got these uh, big walls covered in floral Haunted Mansion wallpaper. Of course people feel uncomfortable in this room. Jane, I'm gonna hang out with your death mask here, if you don't mind. I'm gonna fire up the ovelis and give you the chance to speak to me. And this goes for Jane, goes for Devil Baby, Lady in White, any of the rich tapestry of characters that have moved through the halls of this hull house. I really want it, Let's this is me. Bridal, planet. Okay, you've got a lot to say tonight. That means nothing. Anybody here? He uh, now I'm a ghost like hunter, that. Just sit on and the bed, that's a bro. thing that we do here in this era. What are we respectful because, uh, of the fucking ghosts? We've run bed? out of things to do. What's it gonna do? Haunt? This is a job. That's what you want. Some people sit on the bed. Uh, apparently, for me. Go ahead and say something. <clears throat> Disrespect Speak to me the directly surroundings. Through the obelisk. Here we go. Disrespect your surroundings. What a chatty lady. Okay, well I'm gonna go. Uh, I do appreciate the hospitality, as I'm sure many people did here. I'm gonna go hang out in the attic with your friend, the devil baby. Peace. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, to me saying peace? Or maybe I'll run into the devil baby? Jane. A museum? Oh. Magic. Magic keeps coming up. Is the devil baby a magician? Uh, Shane, <laughs> you, you there? Juggle. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Have you reached out to Jane Adams yet? Yeah, that's all I've been doing, you dipshit. Well, I figured you would be just kind of screwing around in there. Have you reached out to uh, Mr. Hole? Uh, yeah, I'm reaching out to all of them, buddy. What are you asking them? You know, do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. Just ask Jane if you think the house is haunted. It's a serious question. Look, not all of these have to be zingers. I just want you to do anything. Listen, asshole, I've been doing a lot of like legitimate investigation. I've been talking to these people this entire time. I ain't heard shit, okay? Uh, so yeah, I'll ask her that as well though. Thank you for the tip. Hey, Jane. Yeah, let's get another take of that, except uh, this time do it less like a douchebag and just like, you know, you're, you're talking to a person. Try that. Hey, Jane. Is this place haunted? You're wasting time. Just like ask the question Link. normally. And then, uh, uh lay Link. down on the floor <laughs> in her bedroom. Okay, laying on the floor in the bedroom. I will have to uh, deposit the walkie-talkie before I leave, so just give me a heads up when it's time to come out, and I'll do that. Give you, like, a 30-second warning or something. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's actually hard to lay down with this helmet. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, brother. Oh! Oh! Shane, actually, change of plans. I want you to stare into the eyes of the uh, Jane Adams death mask and uh, say I love you. <laughs> yeah. Best thing. Okay. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, break it up. Now just uh, discard this walkie and bring that tall ass back in here. Okay, gonna drop the walkie up uh, in the attic. Oh, fuck. We're outside, by the way. I don't know if you've hit the walkie yet or not. There we go. Maximum troop. I'm just reading whatever bullshit the 
Marvelous is hollering. Okay. All right. Kill. Kill. Kill us. Okay. Devil. Devil. That was an interesting Did you hear one. the way she just said devil? De devil? Devil, baby? Why did I not put that together? Is devil baby here? Oh my God, it's all real. How was it? It was really good. <laughs> the most recent word on there. Devil? Oh, oh, that's amazing. She also said it in a very, like, are there certain words on this that have a scary voice? No. They're so sultry. She, she said, was like, devil. She said like, L, lend, devil. No, she did not say it. She kind of did. No, she did. That's bullshit. I can't believe that. I hope it says baby when you get in there. Dude, if it says baby, I'm just going to walk right out. I'm going to make a U-turn. I'm just going to go up. All right. <laughs> Come back out. Obviously, the walkie's in the attic. Yeah, I figured. Now it's your turn. Is ready. It's gonna be good. I feel like I want to see some enthusiasm for this one. Now I'm gonna keep myself centered. Well, hey, why don't you get in there, have fun? You gotta find the walkie-talkie. Don't forget, that's our magical little system. That I remember the rules. This is the fourth I'll episode. I'll give you a little toot toot, you know, so you can find it in there. Gotcha. Toot toot. Oh boy. Oh shit! I'm so scared. <laughs> God damn it. Why do I do this to myself every single damn time? <laughs> ah, here we are. You seen Devil Baby? Huh? You seen him? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that Shane? Holy shit. <laughs> no way. These are just noises for, for a friend. Oh, that's Shane. That's Shane on the walkie. I almost walked out. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have kept going. He shouldn't have continued. That would have been so funny. You scared the shit out of me. I knew that you knew the walkie was in there so that you probably would have pieced it together that I was making noises. But I thought the initial impact of hearing that strange noise would probably still get you. I considered walking back out. Oh, I love it, great. You did Sorry turn around. Sorry, I had to go all the way up to the attic. Okay, okay your time has begun! Yay. So while you're up there, see if nighttime Dan is up there. Yeah, I was just about to reach out to him. While you're up there in the attic still, actually, can you close the door to the attic? He might be ignoring me. Can I ask, go ahead and close the door to the attic? Sorry, you're breaking up every now and then. No, 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 I'm not. Close the door to the attic. I, I, oh. <laughs> I can't. I, this is not how a professional ghost hunter behaves, right? Fine. <laughs> So I closed the attic, and the okay, next part Dan, you shocked me. Yo, yo, nighttime Dan in the house house! <laughs> <laughs> I probably look insane right now, just <laughs> sitting in the dark with a giant helmet on, <laughs> laughing at myself. And you're right. I am insane. <laughs> I hate this. Really nice vibes in there. I, uh, for a lot of the time I was in there, I just turned my flashlight off and let, did a, a darkness bath, which I think is good for the soul. I used to take showers in the dark. Hot water hitting you sort of dulls all your senses because you, like, you're just too many sensations of the hot water. And then when there's no visual information, also it's, you know, it's almost like a white noise with the water going. So it's like, you're, you're static, you're fuzz, you know, you're nothing. I guess it makes sense that my light will be off when we're talking at nighttime, Dan. Peace, baby. Literally. <laughs> I usually just say baby as like a turn of phrase, but that time I actually meant baby. I'm on the second floor yet? Jesus, so loud. Yeah, I'm on the second floor. All right. Hop into that bedroom. Shut the door behind you so it's not bright in there. 
Uh, lay on the ground. And look up at that ceiling. See if you see any floating figures. You know, you're only supposed to tell me one thing, you son of a bitch. I, I don't believe that's true. You told me to do several things. <sighs> Fucking sucks. Turning off the light now for 30 seconds. This is horrible. Wait, did I just hear Sally? Holy shit, it says Sally. Like, Sally house, Sally? Like a completely she doing here? unrelated haunted nope, house. I'm not talking to Sally, fuck that. Hey, Ryan. What do you want? I know I said the last thing was the last thing I'd ask him to do, but I got one more thing. Shocker. Yucky. Those stairs were the uh, where we've seen a devil baby, <laughs> where I bounced him on my little lap. Uh, can you lay on those? Lay on the stairs. That doesn't even sound like I'm gonna be able. Oh, I guess here. All right, I'm on my back. This sucks. Awesome. Hey, check this out. This is what I'm doing on these stairs. You ready? <laughs> Best ghost hunters in the world. <laughs> Controversial methods, but they always work, baby. Oh, I'm, I'm losing so my mind. I'm house. losing my mind. <laughs> Fuck. Holy what the shit. hell was that? Dude. Holy sh... Turn. Turn what? where? What do you want? Where do you want me to turn? Have we gotten some results here? That was so funny. I'm on the... I'm, I'm passing the second floor where the uh, the general... The, the, the landing of the second floor is. And as I just passed it... The ovulus, which had been silent for a long time, just said fire. Fire. Oh, because there were fires there. Then it said turn. Turn. What, is, what does it want me to look at? I Start turning in a circle? I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it literally doesn't. Oh, my God. What do we got, Bergoose? What is he? I just turned around. There's a fire alarm right there. That's, oh. Did you see it? I don't like the way this area feels, actually. Hello? Ah, damn. Oh, thank God. That was a fun one. It was. A really fun place. You did a great job, it seems like. You know who came in on the spirit box? Not the spirit box, but the ovulus is uh, Sally. Sa the Sally? The name Sally came through. Oh. I was just thinking maybe it's because there's like that port. I have no idea. Well, shall we get out of here? I think so. Hull House, it's been a treat. Salute to a beautiful house. One for the books. One for the books. Let's uh, go eat a hot dog. Will do. A historic home nestled within a college campus is about as unassuming as it gets. And yet, legends and mysteries of the whole house continue to survive. Did Shane get into a fist fight with Charles Hull? Did we learn more about the fire on the second floor? Did we chat with Nighttime Dan or a devil baby? Our job as investigators is to collect and present questions, possibilities, Interpretation, however, solely belongs with you. Oh my God. But for our part, the whole house can now be locked away in the ghost files.
episode of Ghost Files. If you haven't heard, we'll be answering your questions and breaking down evidence a little bit more on our weekly after show every Wednesday, Ghost Files Debrief. That's right. So submit your questions in the comments below. And if you'd like to see episodes a whole day early, swing by patreon.com slash watcher. Farewell. Oh my god. Goodness me. Please go back 15 to 20 seconds. They they just come detected. Oh, that's right. Oh, what? Hey, everybody. <laughs> it kind of does look like come detected. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny.